I think people do need to stand and say, look, you haven't bumped up our way of living in terms of, you know, how we get paid, our salaries, etc. We're not going to pay more. We're out of pocket after that. Rent goes up, energy goes up, transport goes up. We're out of pocket. We didn't bump. And when you do bump us up, it's a pound. We're talking about the cost of living crisis yeah. in this country at the moment. Yeah. How is that being for you? What are you expecting? Are you okay? Like, how are you feeling about it? No, I'm not okay, actually, yeah. because I had this conversation, I think, not long ago with um, a friend of mine that you, you go to work and you're literally just paying to, you're just literally working to pay rent and pay the extra bills yeah. and there's nothing else that you can do. So you can imagine, yeah, yeah. you've budgeted a, a mini lifetime, let's call it, yeah. and then to find out a few months later, oh, yeah, it's gone up to 100. It's either you yeah. pay for it or you leave. I was really angry because I felt that, first of all, I believe in trust. When I've moved into this home, I believe that this is what I'm going to get yeah. regardless of what happens. Yeah. And when we were needed during COVID, because if you remember during COVID, these property owners needed people to move in because they weren't making no money and now that we've moved in you decide to just bump it up on us because there's no more COVID but you're forgetting you once needed those people to be there to keep your income steady and we've done that for you yep. and not even bump it up by £20 but a whole £200 yeah this time I think it's been very 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 difficult um, I don't think I've enjoyed the year at all down from COVID till now first of all drastically changed everything was closed down yep. when it was open it was kind of 50-50 and now that everything's open it's yep like you just bump us up forgetting that we've come from such a crisis and that was technically still in this crisis and to just bump everything up it makes no sense when you realistically look at it what's gone up no pay rises have gone up you know I work for no I work for NHS I'm a dispenser pharmacist dispenser and um, what I realised was that even as dispensers right you get you earn nothing you might as well just work in um, your local grocery store you know you're basically helping the pharmacist with medication so you're working with something very very delicate you know, yeah, you, you get something, right, you get something yeah, yeah, wrong, yeah. it could be very yeah. detrimental because sometimes even a pharmacist misses it. Yeah. People don't want to say these things, but they do. So a dispenser is just as important. And to only get like nine pounds, ten pounds, when you're working for a actual pharmacy company, yeah. that's what you get. If you work for the NHS, you get bumped up just a little bit more. But it's ridiculous. I'm not saying I'm a pharmacist, but I should be close enough yeah. to be earning something because you also have to study. You don't just become a dispenser. You've yeah. got to do a course, a course, yeah. and then to become a tech, you've also got to do a course. So I feel like inflation and people that are working in certain sectors, those in NHS, I really feel bad for them because even nurses are not getting what they should. Yeah. Let alone someone down as like me that's doing dispensing. Nothing makes sense to me. You know, right. I, I'm not paying for my energy bills anyway. It's been two or three months. I just decided that I'm not doing it. The amount, the, the price it bumped up to, I started with something like £12 and woke up a few months later and it was like 50 And it's supposed to be standard and we've agreed yeah. that it's 12 and it's just gone up to 50 yeah. So I said, not I didn't right. agree on it, so I'm not going to pay it. Extra energy, I don't know where it's come from. I don't care. Definitely not using my energy because yeah. we're always at work. You know, there's two of us and we're barely ever that's home. Right. Yeah. Energy is literally when you cut, you know, in the morning, yeah. you do what you've got to do, go to work. That's maybe what 20 minutes between each person. Yeah. You come back home, you may sit down for an hour and then you go back to bed. You know that how the day goes. When you go to work, yeah. you barely have any time, especially if you're doing that Mondays to Fridays. It's not like you've got five hours to sit down after work. Yeah, yeah. You're knackered, you want to relax. So you've got an hour or two, man. I'm not using up anything. That's what yeah. we've We've had months where it's gone up to like 100. And we're thinking, hold on, but I was away. There's one person yeah. here and this person doesn't even watch TV. I'm working, I'm doing all of this to be giving it to someone else. I'm not scared of um, being in debt. That's one thing um, I've been taught. Don't be scared to be in debt. It will go one day. <laughs> <laughs> Five years, six years, yeah. it will go one day. My friend, it's not that bad. But I think people do need to stand and say, look, you haven't bumped up our way of living in terms of, you know, how we get paid, our salaries, etc. We're not going to pay more. We're out of pocket after that. Rent goes up, yeah. energy goes up, transport goes up. We're out of pocket. We didn't bump. And when you do bump us up, it's a pound. I saw somebody on TikTok dancing because they got 75p extra a nurse. What does that change? It doesn't change anything. When you look at this, accumulate the 75p, it's not even paying her energy bills. You know, it's not paying her energy bills. And then you've got your tax. It's just ridiculous. It makes no sense. It really doesn't. I don't blame people that want to relocate to places where there's no tax. I don't blame them. Get your full money's worth. What you've worked for is what you get, which makes sense to me.